Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we will talk about quantile unit root test and uh, quantile autoregressive distributed legs model. Actually, I was contacted by so many people and they were asking about quantile unit root test and quantile ARDL. First of all, uh, we will talk about what basically why we are using quantile regression or quantile unit root. Uh, normally, uh, this is one of the papers that I have followed. Uh, there are so many papers and uh, you, you can check it. But uh, I found this paper more helpful. And basically, uh, quantile unit root test help us uh, to test on the unit root hypothesis for the non-Gaussian series and it also provides a, a unit root behavior not only on the whole quantile but for each selected quantile and besides that uh, the asymmetric persistency could be witnessed through quantiles and the fourth one is basically economic implication would be suggested not only reply on whole quantiles but also at each quantiles. So you, you can basically search for different kinds of uh, papers and uh, you will find a description of why we are using quantile unit root test. And in the same way, if you talk about quantile regression, it is also used uh, due to the uh, non-Gaussian series and uh, due to the heterogeneity. So all these factors that basically contribute and one of the most important factors is that you can get the value at each quantile. So first of all, we will I will just try to run the simple quantile unit root test. Um, this is basically the quantile uh, a, a ADF test, basically. It is the extension. And we can basically follow different kinds of quantiles. Like um, it's up to you to, to put each quantile or whatever you want to do. So simply, I have organized my data. It is in the Excel file and um, let me show you my data so basically this is uh, my data set you can see just um, it's, just, it's in a simple xls file and uh, as i told you uh, the very first thing that you need to understand is basically that uh, you need to download the package of quantile ardl you can you can google it and then once you download the package you need to install that package to the library now you need to load it and this is the very important uh, thing you need to understand uh, basically from here you can install the application you can you you can put uh, the, the file here and then you need to install that library once you install that library you can just load that library and once you do that, then you can follow the codes. Normally, people have problem basically in these things. So you can visit uh, the GAS official website and you can learn that how to load a library. And once you load a library, once you install a library, then how to load it and how you can follow it. So as I told you, I have just put my data here. And this is the my data. And I have also shown it to you. This is the data file. So first of all, as I told you, you need to set your working directory. And once you once you set your working directory, uh, set the working directory. Once you set the working directory, then you can run the code. You can see I got the results. And then accordingly, you can change for each quantiles. You can you can you can get the results. Now we have another test, uh, which was basically many people asked me about this. Uh, this is basically quantile ARDL. As I told you, I have followed different papers, but there are some papers that are very much helpful and you can follow it. But in this paper, they have basically discussed what are basically the key, the key benefits that we can obtain by using quantile ARDL, apart from being the, uh, following the non-normal distribution. Uh, we can also use it that uh, we can get uh, the parameters result for each quantile like across different quantiles we can get the results 
and besides that uh, you, you you can see this paper and this paper is also very much helpful it will provide you all the details uh, this paper by Shahbaz and uh, you can also see this paper it's up to you to which one you want to follow so a detailed description of uh, why quantile ARDL is important can be followed in these papers and you can also follow this one so as I told you that uh, we can we can get the results for for each quantiles so basically you can follow these papers uh, you can just google it this is basically the, the the code for the quantile ARDL as I told you earlier I have done nothing I have just uh, set my data in an excel file let me show it to you it's an excel sheet you can see and I have just put my web data and this is my data uh, as you can see I have specified uh, different quantiles I have done it just for you people so that you can change uh, the number of quantiles it's up to you and this is my dependent variable followed by the independent variables and this is my data set and uh, once I do this There is, we are waiting for the results yes we got the result for quantile ARDL these are basically the short run parameter estimates for gamma we also have the this is we also have this one so this is basically all about quantile ARDL and quantiles unit root test so you can try it and uh, uh, the many people ask me about the code so you, you can search for it but but one thing that I want to tell you that the demo version of gas will not work or will not run most of the codes because uh, there there are different kind of libraries that they don't allow for the demo version so you need to to get the, the the gas the paired version and once you get it then you can try all these tests uh, uh, many people have also asked me about Peran and yabu unit root test uh, they have also asked me about ral's uh, lm test and lm uh, test for structural breaks carrion unit root test and uh, banerji and carrion co-integration test so in the next three videos i will try to uh, record a lecture on those and uh, we'll we'll try to upload it as soon as possible thank you very much